Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and from the relative coziness of the Hidden Forest, I'd like to welcome you back to Sekiro. It's been about two and a half weeks or so since the last time I recorded this, which is a bit of a bummer because I've been loving playing this, but honestly, I did need to get caught up in editing. I have a very bad habit of letting that fall by the wayside, even though I truly do enjoy the editing process of making these videos, but it was adding up and I just figured I needed to step back, take a beat, and get caught up. In doing so, uh, to make a long story short, I noticed that after 20 hours of rendering out my hard edited videos, this project had the same stuttering issues that Hades had, and that was a red flag for me because I'm recording this via OBS, Hades is via an external capture card, and I figured that and Bloodborne, they would have been the only casualties of this weird stuttering that would happen during a static screen. If you just even open any Bloodborne video, the first five seconds will be flickering, and I wasn't sure what it was. I always thought it was my capture card, but as it turns out, it's my fucking editing program, man. I spent two hours trying to really figure out why in the hell it would do that, and it was such an annoying process, but knock on wood, I think I figured it out. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of backtracking here. Ooh, get a nice little back shot there, please. Because if you try to uh, fast travel back to the burrow, for which we just fought the guardian apes. Hello, why are you being so aggressive right now, man? That's not cool. You cannot fast travel to it. And that might be a little jarring because, well, we just discovered it. We found it. We rested at it. We communed with it. It was fantastic. It told us some of its favorite podcasts. I mean, I thought we were pretty close. As it turns out, we have a new friend. <laughs> the Shichimen Warrior rears his ugly face. And, uh, yeah, he has deactivated the idol. And we have to defeat him before we're able to use it again. Oh, actually... I'm curious now. I've never come from this direction, so I never thought to jump from up there on top of him. Can we even do that? Uh, no, it actually looks like it juts out a little too far. Well, I don't want to mess with him right now, so I'm just going to go up here and maybe try and see if I can drop down on him. It actually works out kind of nicely that we're going back over here, because I meant to mention this before we got the monkey booze that was up here. So, let's be very, very gentle. Yeah, this is where we got the prayer bead. All fun and good. And there is an unfortunate monkey with his back towards you, looking over the decomposing corpse of a larger monkey. What I think is that this is the mate of the guardian ape that we murdered before, at least the first one. You know, the one he was cultivating that lotus flower for. It's kind of sad because it's just there, and we don't even know where the headless one went, but at least they're together. Oh, actually, interesting. I'm sure you probably could. It would just be very hard to get the right perfect angle. Or maybe not. No, he's pretty down there. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and make some preparations. Divine Confetti, Pacifying Agent, and of course... To top us off, just a little bit of sugar. All right, with the element of surprise, we will be victorious. And it was just out of reach, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. Oof. Yeah, you got the double on me there, but not today. You're gonna disappear now? That's cool. This is probably one of the better arenas to fight him in, just because it is Fairly straightforward, even though I'm missing my umbrella a little bit for that move. Wait, are you doing it again? Oh, he's trying to pull the twofer. There we go. Welcome to Stagger City, friend. Wasn't a double hit that time. Oh, you know what? God, he had no health anyways. Let's get the Divine Confetti going again. Pacifying Agent. And there you are. Oh, that thing just spawned right under me. That's great. Can you give me, like, a fresh death blow, please? Uh, no. Nope. You're just gonna run. Surprise, surprise. Couldn't get lucky that often. And again, just run to the side, but try to cut the distance down. Oh, what the... 
Jesus, man. You did the two for two times in a row is not very nice. Oh my god. Yes, we're doing numbers on this guy. If we run out of this divine confetti, we might be able to get away with using our mortal draw too. Right, don't go too far. Sir. Or whatever you identify as. Stop Wizrobe jumping around, please. <laughs> we were substantially more powerful this time around, but he drops the Malcontent's ring. Wearing this ring as you blow the finger whistle will create a somber tune. The weeping voice is full of solitude and beauty. Possibly somber enough to temporarily quell a voice of rage. You do pretty well to remember that because there are a few fights where that will definitely come in handy. Well, um, thank you for relinquishing our powers back to us via the sculptor's idol. And just because I can, let's just go ahead and travel straight on there. <laughs> Now, I know it goes without saying, but under no circumstance should you explore the cotton candy fog, because if you do, there is a darkness awaiting you that you have absolutely no business touching right now. So I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to hang out up here with our rooster buddies, apparently. Someone wants to join into the festivities. There you go. Thank you. Uh, but you're more than welcome to be tempted by the allure of the treasure down there. Just beware of the roaming parasites that hope to feed on your soul. It's not very fun. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm, I just want no business <laughs> in that department, so. If you do fall, though, it's not a big deal. You can just kind of run up here and escape by a grapple hook. But I'm gonna go ahead and swap up my inventory a little bit now that we are better off. Snapseed and, of course, the monocular. If anything, this is probably as good a place as any to use up all your snap seeds, just because there are so many apparition type enemies that will just go at the snap of a finger. You might as well, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, an NPC awaits. Another one on the verge of death. What lovely trivia do you have for us, sir? <laughs> <笑>武器を打っては食れまいか武器だとそうじゃあれはこの先の廃寺にこもり村人たちを甘やかすため幻の霧で村を閉ざしておるのじゃ古い建物でなもし扉が閉ざされていても二階に穴が開いているはずじゃ<笑> Oh, and he actually didn't die for once. Somebody that we talked to did not pass away after giving us their most prized bit of knowledge and information. Well, um, I think we might be able to get a glimpse of, that's right, our double death bubble buddy is waiting down there. As I was saying that, I was expecting to trip over it, but that's what it is, the double death bubble buddy. All right, well, we have a new name for those now. <laughs> Definitely don't want anything to do with that, so let's go and talk it up with our neighborly rooster friend. Hello. It is so good to see you. And grab ourselves a pellet. That's good. And I guess that might just lead down, but I think, yeah, we can reach that. We might have to, oh, we got a swing. What do you know? Let's have some fun. Hope this little dead-looking twig has enough power to support our weight and all of our equipment, namely my arm. I will not humor you with a bubble, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you're more than welcome to go and explore. It's really not that bad, but it, it's scary and I would rather not deal with it because we'll be doing plenty of that over in this area here. 
So our uh, murderous reign of the Cox of the Hidden Forest continues. Oh shit. What the? Don't know what happened there. Everybody gets an unceremonious death, and why not? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Spirit Warriors. These enemies generally aren't aware that they are no longer dead, and they kind of just seem to mind their own business until, you know, you self-insert yourself into them. But they still will die just like any other, and at the snap of a seed, you're done. They don't give you the most amount of experience, which is fine, but I don't think that's really what they're there for. Just keep in mind that you might want to watch out for somebody, <laughs> which I know is going to pop out out of nowhere. So there's a strange musical sound coming from this temple, presumably the one the man was talking about. Oh, do you, wait, is it that it? Is that how you're supposed to tell? Do you see that breathing? Right there in the middle. That's how you're supposed to know they're there. Doggos will come out of the nethers and just fucking rip your throat open. Terrifying as hell, but also incredible and really cool looking. And also I would deserve it. <laughs> no way to get in here. Probably is if you finagle it somehow, but I won't worry too much about that. Oh my god, wait, are you just gonna ignore your friend? Or ignore you spawn? God, I forgot that could happen. I don't normally explore this much, so... <laughs> is there another dog there? I think there is, I see it. I seemed it. Thank you. Or not. Or... yes? Anyways, what clearly presents itself as a path is completely blocked off by this stone wall. So we'll have to remember that that's there, and I'm just gonna go back this way, if I can. I don't like not knowing where enemies are, and not being able to see them. Although... <laughs> there we go. Grab some oil. Got some spirit emblems there. I actually might want to hold off on those. Because we're gonna be using a lot of them here in a second. But we will do some minor backtracking. I was under the impression that they also spawned back, but it does not entirely seem as if they do, so I might be wrong on that, but they always just kind of come out of nowhere, and I just assumed they did, you know, them being spirits and of the corporeal and whatnot. But we got some scrap, and if you go and see the really obvious yellow paint over there, you can tell that you're supposed to shimmy. I think I can make that from here. Ooh. Or not. <laughs> when you are standing still and you go into a sprint, Sekro does like a little little hop forward and it's always so disorientating. <laughs> and now I can't even do that, thank you. Try and get me now, <laughs> Spectre Doggos. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I don't even know where he went, that's odd. Well, we got the long spark, which is good, but I'm looking for the gouge top, which is uh, probably one of my favorites just to have on hand. We'll step over here, grab more snapsies. There we go. And this will take us back to that initial area. I don't think you can actually even get over here from there, so try not to fall off if you can, or maybe you could. I don't know, but there he is. That's our mini boss double death bubble buddy, if I ever saw myself. And spoilers, while also spoiling completely what it is, uh, you cannot get a death blow from above. If you've been paying attention to the project kids then you will know immediately who I'm referring to. We will have a pop quiz on that later and uh, I hope you've been taking notes. Which, speaking of, I hate notes. <laughs> I could never take good enough notes to help me learn anything. I was just better off focusing on what the teacher was saying than <laughs> writing it down and then not knowing what it meant without context later. Unless it was like objective facts, you know. Uh, by the way, we have another drunkard just absolutely drinking it up with his monkey friendos there. This one's got a gun. He's not allowed to join in. He's he's the uh, the driver, so what I would like to do... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That's not what I meant to do. Bad news bears. Or bad news pandas in this case. I shurikened the wrong man, I'm afraid. <laughs> All right, we can go this way, and we can kind of get that uh, lovely aggro off of us. Thank you. Sheesh. Oh, can I get that from here? 
Yes, I can. Nice. Another palette. Which is lovely. And before we move on, we obviously want to take this guy on. Fortunately for us, he sets himself up real, real nicely for a lovely little back shot. Also, you'll notice that his health got reset. You can't just get like two death blows on him in a row and then, you know, leave before you did the second one. No, he'll get it back if you leave him back to his own devices for too long. So what I would like at this moment is probably some sugar. And let's hope that uh, this works out for us. Thank you. We're going flame on. Enjoy. He's got some. Oh shit! The fucking grab is terrifying. Oh no. Now he's gonna poison me. That's bad. Oh, so much for my incredible. Oh boy. Flame lawns. Oh my god. Sometimes it's hard to read. Oh shit! Oh my god, and he still grabbed me. Oh! Thank you. My back was killing me. Well, that's not good. Luckily, he is almost dead, but... There you go. Enjoy that, and... Please leave me alone. Don't grab me again. <laughs> that hurts. Ooh, and that, which I could have jumped on him for. He is scary, but of course, he wouldn't be a dead drunkard if he didn't drop sake and a prayer bead. God. <laughs> well, thanks for the fistful of ash. I am actually probably going to sell all of those and my ceramic shards soon enough. I have not needed to use them at all. I mean, I forced myself for the sake of this project to use them. And you saw how that all turned out. We haven't exactly been needing the money either, so it hasn't been worrying me, but it probably does for some people. Now, go and snag this up. It's a lump of fat wax. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we now find ourselves up here along the uh, upper level of this place, which is good, I suppose. Because <laughs> it allows us to make our way in, thanks to that extremely random bit of trivia that man had for us. And ladies and gentlemen, is it a doozy. We've got our first Miss Noble. This is the easiest boss in the game and an even easier normal enemy once we see him later. All you have to do is attack. Oh man, he drops Grave Wax, but that is it. He also doesn't even give us that much experience, which is kind of hilarious. Also, hello, Fog, thank you for dissipating. Now that he's dead, we can help ourselves to Yashiriku's sugar properly. It has our max vitality and posture, but it gives us a large attack boost, which is always good for me. Yeah, so the stone wall is completely gone. We have tore that wall down. And now we can explore this place in all of its creepy leisure, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, we could have done this sooner. It's just <laughs> I'd rather have those spirit enemies out of the way. Also, we've been getting a lot of bite downs. We do actually have the infinite use version of it available to us now. And I might go and grab that if I ever find one of the episodes is a little shorter. And uh, we'll go and grab that, but yeah, that is essentially everything here. And before we go back to that first room, I'm going to grab the next Sculptor's Idol, just so that we can uh, really put a bow on this place and make it easier to get through. I think we have a couple more of those Spectre Night Jars, so I'm not looking forward to that. I think we might just need to bum rush them, honestly, because we have a bit of a cliff here. We are at the edge of the precipice, and... I have a feeling if we wait too long, we'll probably end up getting sniped out of the air. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna book it. There you are. I knew it. Oh my God! See, they already came out firing, man. And your friend. Look at that. Hello? Are you good? Oh, and there's fucking more enemies down there. Okay. Well, I love having uneven ground to play with. 
Thank you. Holy hell, man. Oh, it's the dogs. It's the convention of the wolves. Do this, I suppose. Hello. Oh, and another one joined. Thank you. I think that's all I wanted to do. Well, there is a very specific enemy here that is great for grinding up on. He's really tough because he has the uh, Sabimaru. He'll poison you like crazy. But you can get really easy back shots on him. And he always has a tendency to notice. Am I too high right now? I wonder if I go over here. Because he'll be right there. And I can't... Oh, there's the dog. Okay. Well, I'm afraid because he might come run after me. And usually you just want him right there. I have a feeling that's probably going to kill me if I jump, though, right? Like, it's going to act like a void. Can I do this? Yeah! Oh my god! The jump of the century! And we get the scrap magnetite. And he was guarding his prized treasure carp scale. Thank you. This dog didn't even notice. Oh, and he drops pacifying agents. That could actually come in handy here. Alright, listen here, doggo. I'm so sorry. But, just like your brethren before you, gotta go. There you go. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, because I think if you just went down normally, you would just kind of go along this winding path. And it's like a fun little, I don't know, diversion from things. Ah, but that's what I'm looking for. There's an item over there. Oh! And one over here. All in all, aside from getting my spine torn in half, that was not the worst go of that area that I've had, but it is not over yet. Uh, let's see, can I even reach this from here? Yes, I can. Lump of fat wax. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the incredible, the amazing Mibu Village. You know it, you love it. This place is terrifying as hell, and it is probably going to go quite wrong for us across the board. I actually don't know if the villagers can follow us here, but just like the decaying inmates, they will continuously respawn over and over, and it is not fun. Meanwhile... He <laughs> It's the exiled memorial mob, and of course he carries the mottled purple gourd, which is exactly what I'm looking for. But I am gonna probably hold off on that because he also holds Dragon Spring Sake. The fourth type of alcohol that I did not mention. I don't know why I thought three. I just assumed because these are so much more difficult to come by that, you know, it was not as important apparently, but no, that's the case. He also has two treasure carp scales, which is nice. At this point, we could go back and get the flowing water technique, I think it was called, but we have a mortal draw, so it's really not even worth it. Um, you know, because I'm probably going to die, let's go ahead and use up. This will give us 2,000. I only need half of that, I'm afraid. Buy ourselves the mottled purple gourd. And... That's it. Thank you. I appreciate it. So if I go through my inventory, let's see. So we've got some bite downs, which is good. But again, we're going to want the confetti and we'll try it out. We'll, we'll try out our new purple gourd. The gourd's twisted form was formed with use in graveyards, corpse-strewn battlefields, and other forlorn places of death. It follows then that drinking its waters can help prevent the onset of terror. I don't know if it's necessarily better than the pacifying agent because if you get terrored, it just does 80% of your health. So I, I just, I don't think you can even stack them or anything, but either or would be good enough. And I suppose we should go and make our way back up to the hidden forest and go back to that original area. I... Well, I guess if there's any consolation to be had here, it's the fact that this is probably about as cozy as this place is ever going to be. 
I mean, if you can look past the excessive amount of <laughs> lighting coming off of these butterflies keeping you up at night, or if you can drown out the sorrowful wails of the roosters crying bloody murder at the moon, then I think you might be able to sleep here, even with the sound of the undead wafting through the night. This would be cozy as hell. <laughs> Kind of amazed I made that, and this rooster was not impressed in the slightest. So you know what? Take a couple of shurikens on the house and uh, hit the road, Jack. <laughs> I, I it might go without saying again, but this fight makes me absolutely terrified. <laughs> this is my least favorite encounter against our old friend, Mr. Headless. That's right, all along Gachin the hero has been cosplaying as our double death bubble buddy, and unfortunately, we gotta put him down. Uh, ooh, oh my goodness, I almost did not <laughs> double check to see if I had the gourd on. I was really hyping it up, only to not even have it equipped. That would have been terrible to find out in battle. But as you know, you cannot get death blows from above on these bosses, so we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. By beginning with some confetti, throw in the gourd, and of course, mix in a little sugar. If we can kill him, we can kill the rest of them. Here we go. Okay, so... Okay. Being a little violent, I probably would too, but now he's going to try to grab my butt. Please don't do that. Oh my god, yes, stumble some more, please. That would make my day. Big hit. Yes. Oh my god, how? <laughs> Hold on, can we do this in a single go? I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but the board's already worn off. We still have some confetti. Oh my god, this is not the time to be pragmatic. We just need to get backhanded. Excuse me, how dare you fight dirty to the person who <laughs> jumped on you from above? Don't get cocky. Here we go. Come on, yes! <laughs> oh my god. And with that, Gajin's spirit fall is ours. I'm falling to pieces and the man to himself, drifting deep into the forest. <sighs> Wait a minute, don't tell me that was Scott Weiland, former singer of Stone Temple Pilots and Velvet Revolver. I mean, RIP, obviously, but. They had that song falling to me. You know what I mean. What a good song. That was like an incredible song for the time. I mean, what, did that come out in 2008? I was in high school and oof, it was good. Although, wait a minute, maybe their first album came out in 2006. I vaguely recall being in middle school when I heard them, but I don't know, man. Wow, ooh, five scrap iron. This place was loaded. Well worth the effort and having essentially infinite amounts of stealthiness to your name is probably as good as things are gonna get. Well, let's get out of here. I don't think we have any business to be exploring this place anymore. And I really hope I didn't miss anything down there. My eyes, they're burning. Yeah, I we're done here in the hidden forest and thank you game, it just like threw me off. It's like, you know what, fuck you. <laughs> that fight was too good. How dare you. No, this is, this is easily the worst arena to fight in, and um, there are two others that some might argue are in worst spots, but I don't subscribe to that. Not in the slightest, because now it's time to return to Mibu Village, so let's do it. Yeah, I don't know why that makes me so nervous. I think just because I always just had trouble with the headless that I'm just over precautious, but as long as you keep an eye on your terror gauge and uh, you time your hits and you don't spam attacks, I think that's kind of what makes it easier. Get those back shots, don't let them uh, touch your butt, like this guy. <laughs> so every time, if you should so desire, feel free to get a free 784 experience because he is going to really help get you over the edge for some skill points. There will be better places later on to just really farm if you have to, but for as early in the game as this is, um, valid place to do it to year two. There's going to be a bunch of respawning villagers and uh, you can also just do oof, some of that. <laughs> I love it. But we won't do too much of it and do ooh, don't get grabbed. 
they will do obscene amounts of damage. They'll hit you in the face with knives, and it's just overall a very unpleasant situation. Yeah, they're going to come back. That's not good. It's usually just a couple shots in, and then they're done. But sometimes they'll try to be wise guys, make you do a Makiri or two. I mean, 87 experience and you're fighting like 20 of them is not too bad just over time. Just get a podcast going and uh, play some music, something. And then it's just, it's free real estate. This guy right here. I don't think there's any way to kill them for good, even if you do have the mortal blades, so. What was, what was your thought process there, friendo? Well, I only got one of you. That's fine. What are you thinking? Uh-oh. Jeez. Try to, try to learn how to use that thing, friendo. Oh my god. I'm just gonna do this. High frames. Hey, okay, drop the hoe. She did nothing wrong. That guy just popped up. You're throwing... Somebody's throwing shit at me. It's like all of you just hiding in the grass. Damn. Look at all this stuff on the floor. Oof. Let's move on a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, it's kind of cool how varied these attacks are, but it's a little lost on me here. Okay, so that. And before we know it, we'll be able to run back, get, get the goods. Oh my god. This guy's like, what the fuck? This is only the second worst thing to happen to me today. Also, you want to be very careful for these piles of petals because if you step into them, you're gonna get yoinked! Well, I, I wanted to show it, but not actually get taken, so these guys will just always come back, which is incredibly annoying. Oh my god, please don't grab me. I would appreciate it. <laughs> I would love it if I could just have my independence here. My space, perhaps? We'll just take you guys out and then we'll go back and get our riches. Oh my god. And you're gonna throw terror balls at me, which will slowly increase your terror gauge, but usually not by a huge amount. All right, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and throw on uh, the balloon of wealth and of course, maybe some possession as well while we're at it. Even though the items they drop are not necessarily the best, um, you can still sell the fistfuls of ash and the <laughs> small, minute items they drop pretty nicely. No oh, shit. Oof. And with the uh, excessive amount of uh, power we have, look at that. Oh my goodness. This is great. I forgot to check how much money I started with, but it probably was only like a hundred bucks. Here, how much did this guy have? Yeah, he had a good amount and a pacifying agent, so that's good. But yeah, just a little place to go and get some money, just in case you've been spending it all, and we've been having to buy some pretty pricey things, but I'm done. I'm done farming. That's not my job. Said I'm gonna stand in here and uh, speak to this poor, cowering villager. あんな。<笑> I mean, whatever helps you sleep at night. この村はどうなっている
時々お酒を振る舞ってくださるんだただなお酒を飲むと喉が渇いちまう酒だるはすぐ空になる仕方なく皆池や川の水をすするんだけどな飲めば飲むほど喉が渇く喉が渇いて渇いてたまらなくなるだ So you're telling me that the head village priest poisoned the water supply and he's a maniacal villain. Um, well, I am so sorry to hear that. Kono Mura no Mono Tachi. Do not deal. Wakarane. Tada, Mina Hio Koagar. Atamaga bought to steer to Kua. Ola Mosoda. Ano Nakanaka Kiena he. いまおもいだしてもぞっとするきえないひりょうしのいぬひこのやつがまつやにおもやしていえにたてこもってたんだあいつのまつやにはながくもえるからなたくいまいましいぬひこはむらのはなつまみものだけものの肉などくいやがる Oh, that actually does sound like somewhere I want to be, but we've got one last line of questioning, I'm afraid. カワゾイに遡った先水源に近いお社にいらっしゃるぞ。カンヌ様はおっしゃってた。皆で都人になろうぞってな。お酒をたくさん飲めば都人になれるってさ。あ。都人ってなんだろうな。well, that doesn't sound promising or even remotely comforting. So, Kai, itchimao no Kai. Ora wa koko de kago ni komotte ru yo. Shinpo se neba. Oh no, that's terrible. I want to get out of here and probably avoid drinking anything here aside from, I guess, bottled water. I don't know, man. It, uh, it's not looking too good from here. <laughs> yeah, let's go this way. I'll grab more of the items a little bit later because, uh, we'll be dealing with more of the water a bit later. But, uh, we got an item in here for me. More ash! Joy to the world! I have more fistfuls of ash in my pocket. Can you believe it? I mean, alert the media, please. Also, are you joking? This little spot is like stopping me from attacking it. Yeah, this like ledge here wouldn't let me jump. <laughs> well, um, you want to be careful when going down this path because you can see a lot of those flower petal traps. And there's also some items over there that I would really very much want. There's also a taro soldier over there. Oh boy. I could probably just run past them all, but they'll be throwing stuff at me. Wait a minute, is that one right there? That is just a normal enemy, I think. Yeah, I would avoid going up the left side for the time being. Like, don't cross this ravine because we can join in from behind. Oh boy. Well, this is unfortunate. Let me just grab the gourd seed that was just sitting here. And I'll just keep going this way. Oh shit. Are there rock divers here? Someone just come out of the fucking wall? I want to get up here, if possible. Or, what if I did this? What if I did the thing? <laughs> oh my god, he's like dead and decrepit. There you go, use your bell for good and not evil. Look at him go. I don't think we've had a chance to see this guy in action, but this guy is terrifying fighting him normally. 
his grab, he will literally throw the bell on top of you and like smack you to the ground. It's really cool, but it's also very hard hitting and I do not like it. There's a couple more items over there. Jesus. Can I do this? Let me give you a hand. Watch out for this stuff. Ooh, Luna Soul. And there's also some of these. A couple of those. <laughs> Black gunpowder. Are we. Oh, Jesus. I was not paying attention. No! Your uh, sacrifice will not be in vain, my good sir. Just looking at the time, we might actually be going a little bit over what I wanted to. I, I wanted to get this mini boss. It would have been the fourth in the same episode, but we'll save it for next time. I think uh, <laughs> there's going to be a pretty big turnaround after the next part. And if you played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oof. Yeah, these ones, when they run at you, they'll grab you and uh, absolutely smoke you. That's not good. Yeah, that knife is just going to be finding itself repeatedly inserted into your skull. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, we're just barely off. Damn it. Do we have any lucky guests that want to be the one to put us over the edge? Perhaps you? I know you don't like fire, but here. Wasn't sure that was going to connect. Did we get it? There it is. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, there's still a little bit more off in that direction to deal with, but that is scary as hell. I don't remember how many spectral guys there are there, but there are too many for comfort. So, we'll save that and uh, that one guy's house, the outcast that for some reason never ended up getting any sake because the head priest said no. Also, if you had not sent Jin Zayamon, the uh, samurai who greeted us at the well, if you had not sent him down to the dungeon, this is where he would be because the source of the Shamisen is right ahead. And at this point, spoilers, Jin Zayamon would die, having heard that sound. And he would bestow upon you a very unique bundled Jizo statue. So if that's something that you would really want over sending him down in the dungeons, feel free to, but this is where his story ends and where ours will as well for the time being yeah this was actually a really good amount of progress i feel like as far as skills are concerned uh, man oh man oh man i hate that i would probably need to get the double so that we can finish this off that's five uh, i might just look for things that are actually practical right now because i'm not going to use the nightjar slash I'm not going to use the reversal Probably never going to use Living Force, nor Projected Force, so these two are up for grabs. Um, and then Mid-Air Combat Arts would actually be great. And I I could have sworn I bought Mid-Air Deflection. How did I never do that? That's insane. Mid-Air Combat Arts is also really good. Did I or did I not? I could have... Maybe I did on my practice file. You know what? We're doing that. We're, we're making that happen. Damn. That is very annoying. I was hope... I I was playing this entire time thinking I had my deflect in midair. It only cost one. I just assumed I had it. Jesus. And I guess just because um, we've had so many skill points, this wouldn't be bad. Recovers posture upon a successful death blow. Why not? Oh, man, oh, man. This has been quite the go of things, but thank you all so much for joining me here. In Sekiro. I hope it wasn't too sloppy. Join me here next time as we finally learn how to swim. At least the way a true shinobi does. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Hell yeah.